this is George Mazzell, and I'm delighted to bring you another one of the projects from Super Magnet Man. One of the top questions we get asked all the time is can you make magnetic string? String that is attracted to a magnet. We can't actually magnetize string, but what we can do is embed some iron particles in it so when it gets near a magnet, it is attracted to the magnet as you see here. Now, we're going to take a look in this experiment as to how we do this. Okay, to get started, we're going to start by cutting ourselves a couple of pieces of string. And there we are. Now, the next thing we're going to do is use our Encapso K liquid. You've seen it in a previous video. This stuff has really got a lot of uses. And one of the things that we're going to do now is take a little bit of this and mix it up so we can make our thread magnetic. And now it's time to stir these up together. First you have to mix the two parts and get them thoroughly mixed. Now we're going to take iron powder. We just need a little spoonful of iron powder to mix in here. We want it to be fairly thick because we want to be able to put integrate this into the string all the way through the lengths of the string. So we put a little bit more in here than we normally would just to view magnetic field, fields like we did in the last video. But I can stir this up. Now one of the things you'll start to see is it takes a little bit of work to get this to suspend the iron in the mix. And once I get it mixed up pretty good, like about now, I just take my strings one at a time. I'm going to put them into the liquid here. Put them down. I keep this piece out that I'm going to hang it with so I can pull it back up pretty easily. I let this thread have a chance to get this all soaked in with the iron powder. And then we pull it up and get it untangled because when this dries you don't want it to dry with the tangle in it. And once I get it, so I'll sort of run this over it to help get some of the little beads off of it. And we'll hang this on the wall. I hang it away from the board so it doesn't stick to the wall. And it's good to go. We'll do the second one now, and then we'll take a look at what we might, the things that we need to be careful of in making this. I'm just stirring this up. All right, now, some of the things that you want to watch for is this is a clear silicone rubber, and it will leave little beads of rubber along the side of it, and so what you might want to do is rub those off when you get through and see how magnetic it still is. The other thing is, people want to know what you might use this for. The biggest people who have asked questions about it, they really want to get an answer to it, are magicians. And magicians love to think of new tricks all the time, and one of the things that they wanted to do was come up with some way that they could use a string and make it magnetic. And that is one of the ways to do it. Now, remember, all we've done is embedded iron powder. At Super Magnet Man, we also have magnetic powder. Magnetic powder would stick together. One of the problems you would have doing the same thing with magnetic powder is it would clump together. And you'd really have to work to try and get it to stick to the string instead of sticking to each other. And so I didn't include that in this video, but if you want to try it, you're welcome to do it. Most of the time, being able to have a string that is simply attracted to a magnet meets most people's needs because any of these strings that I take, I've got just enough iron in here to make it pull to the string, and that will work really well. Now in our next quick little video segment, we're going to cover how can you make fabric magnetic. Stay tuned.